They did this in that last, like, building, too, where they just, like, stop and, like, hey, here's just a bunch of these guys deal with it. Five more. I have the shotgun gun shells. I know. I must have missed it. What is this? I would use something else, but I don't think any of my weapons besides my guns actually reach down far enough for these guys. Try this again. It hits, but you know, even that day, like that's the other thing is I can get a hit in the same ammo. I feel like this enemy is probably mentioned on any review. Yeah, this must be so annoying and hard. These things must just butcher you. Army, maybe if you're on hard, you probably know this game well enough to know, like, oh, I can afford to spend a shotgun. did that take before? A lot. All my handgun bullets. Oh, I need to keep you. I need to use that jerky. God damn. I need or just get some healing items. Okay, so there was an item here that said happy first birthday, right? So I'm gonna pull out my katana in hopes that it's a nurse in one of these rooms. So is that, like, the first birthday, the ambush? Is that, in... maybe that's why. I could see that. At least that gives it more of a reason than just being like, hey, screw you. Or maybe the enemies were meant to be, like, spaced out and... Oh. Oh, oh I mashed through that, but okay. Submit all these birthday presents something. There's something on the ground. Is this a birthday card? Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38, but it's not my birthday. There's something on the platform that's too thin to be a person. I don't think I'll go far as to pull off the sheets to check. I think maybe it, is it because I have my light on? First birthday. Why are you reading that? This is supposed to be this way, right? It's not supposed to like look slightly better and it just looks so corrupted because I'm on this, right? I haven't been fear where it's like it was meant to be weird, but then it made it even weirder because I was emulating it. Is that a gurney? Is that a bed up there? I'm pretty sure there's a person on these rusted red sheets. I think they're dead, but I can't bear to check for sure. Oh. Hopefully they're dead. Sometimes I feel like the craziest and scariest thing they could possibly do in a game like this, in a situation like this, is if you just encountered like another person. Like almost like when you run into Vincent. Or I wonder like, I assume I'm gonna run into, oh perfect, the detective at some point. It's creepy. I saw that drawn on the dividing screens of the hospital. But this is different. It seems like it was drawn a long time ago. Somehow. I think she's like remembering Alessa's being in the hospital, right? And I don't know that part of the story very well, but these candles didn't light themselves, now did they? Knife? Knife? Hey, when they do this, it's like, I don't, I want to look at the painting. Come on. The title is Lost Memories. One, it just got darker. 
One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religion's practice nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. And that's on the order. Okay, so I have to bring something to the alt. Hold up. I have blood. Honestly, like, I wouldn't have known this was an, a thing because she only talked about the candles, not like the altar itself. Yeah, there we go. Can I just use it? I don't need, like, something else. exactly clear on how that works. Well then, I hope there was nothing else here. See, like, this is another thing where it's like, I totally would reset if I knew that was a thing, because I could just run past all those just annoying enemies, and then as long as I made it into this room, I would be fine. I think it's a fair guess, though, to assume I can't go out to the pool area in the garden, and the elevator wouldn't work. I guess maybe if that stairway was open, it might do something, but I'm going down anyway, so I, I don't think I'm missing anything. It could be different. There could be a rocket launcher in the stairwell. I don't know. about about our plans of course it's true that god is merciful but first one must be chosen only we who hearken to the voice of god will be given the keys to paradise don't you think so heather yeah sure go ahead and think whatever you want what do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceive me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. So you tried to trick me. So you could run off with my seal, huh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone! What is this seal thing anyway? Oh, don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine. I was appointed by God to be its guardian! The only thing you'll get from me 
is a gruesome death. Leonard? Is that you? Death to all who turn their backs on God! <sighs> is every person here a mental case? Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. So... Straight, straight to the SMG, right? Oh, God, if I had a gun out, I could have actually uh, opened up on it. Do I need to get him to go? It was a fight. Why was that so weird? Again, I, I thought it was gonna be so much better, and then it's like, just shoot him, and he swims. Did he even hit me once? Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? I got a talisman. So I think I'm free to just leave, right? Yeah, it even puts me nice and conveniently. Hmm. Hmm, was there a reason it stuck me in this room? Heh, <laughs> stuck. It'd be great if they had, like, foreshadowing, like, I don't know, what was gonna happen. I guess I didn't really look. I, I got a bunch of shotgun shells, that's right, didn't I? So I probably should have been using them. Like, what do I got? I got 28, 8? Yeah, I should have. I guess I also picked up some SMG. Okay, okay. And there's a save point on the way out, so we can get that. I think I'm safe to say nothing has respawned and nothing else has opened up. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm, I'm not going to spend time looking, but it'd be the easiest way to hide a secret is like, hey, guess what? Go all the way back to the top floor and there's a handgun bullet. And it'd be, it'd be useful to know, I'm not going to lie, if you were on hard mode. But like, I would just be curious because like, I obviously assume I can't walk back into the other world now, but then how do they stop you? Like, I assume I probably just can't use the elevator the same way. Is there anything that it never got circled off? I'm pretty sure, like, generally speaking, all the optional stuff is usually outside or obvious. It's never, like, 
there's just an optional objective I just missed. Because you basically, you go through literally everything in these dungeons. Like, I guess maybe there's some side rooms with some bullets and stuff I could have missed, but I feel like you would have definitely find those just trying to find the right stuff here. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. That was exciting. Um, boss could have been something more, but I'm glad it was a boss. Because that first worm was like, it was okay. But uh, that was at least better. It's still not, I mean, I don't think Sign Hell's amazing bosses, but it's, it's still something.